you're joining me for another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! I have in front of me, I haven't done one of these in a while, another bunch of bananas. So I have a purple banana here, a blue banana, and you will see that I have two of the congratulations. You are the finder of a rare and special bananas. Now I have explained to me, explained in the other videos what to look out for to find these rare bananas. And I have found a double up, which I believe I ended actually giving up a giving away on my channel these two i've opened up and they are different bananas so we have we are going to be opening up a star purple and pink limited edition banana and a yellow star streak banana so that's two limited editions that i don't have in the set yet which is really really cool but we are going to start with the normal one. If you are new to bananas, these are a collectible toy. They come in bananas. And they smell, oh, they smell so good. I have a container of these. And when you open up the container, it's like pick me pops. Like the smell just wafts up, wafts up and hits you in the head. There is a little perforated thing to the side, which you just need to give a bit of a yank to. Of course, me and perforated edges never fully work. <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting professional when I say that. They always, you know, do the ring around the rosy. And there we go. <laughs> so this is a blue banana. You can get them in a range of colors. Uh, I think Blake chose the blue and the purple one. So you then peel it like this, and then you have a couple of blind bags inside. Now there are different sets now, so I'm going to look at the collector list as to which set this one is, or wave I should say, because mm, sometimes series 1 comes in series 1.1 and then 1.2 before it goes to series 2. It's a very weird system that they use. Okay, so let me see. I don't think this is, yeah, this is still bunch 1, so this is still series 1. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the stand, which is the large blind bag. and So you can make a little display piece for your banana credit to clip on. And you can hook them all like a big little vine. If your child so pleases to have them hanging off the room, or if you do, Lord knows I'm a big child. <laughs> I'm old, but I still consider myself a child. So there is the little stand, as easy as that. Then on to the blind bag, I find really weird. I, I don't like these little critters. I've explained in another video why I don't. They look like the critters of food, and I don't understand why they're friends of food. <laughs> you get also get these little shiny deco pieces, which I suggest you, if you don't want to put it on your little banana friend, to put in your diary. Here is the first petrified food. Look, it's a strawberry that's a bug. And it looks horrified. It, it looks like it's screaming in terror. <laughs> I don't understand that. Now this one, I don't even get it. it. Is it a cupcake? Is it squished? Is it poop? I don't even know what this is. I don't know what this is. And there's nothing on the checklist for the little bugs. So uh, yeah, these I don't like. But this I do. I really like these little banana critters. They're a nice affordable collectible too. Um, in New Zealand they're $8 but you can quite often get them for um, buy one get one 50% off. So it comes with a little sticker of your critter. Sorry it's night time so I am going to have shadowing. So this one is a unicorn and it's a white unicorn critter. Oh my goodness and it's winking. It is so cute. I love these little collectibles. I really do. So she will sit on her little stand like so. How cute is that? This is a nice little affordable collectible. And if you're in an apartment, this is a really good collectible. And it's quite small. All mine I've put into a slim container as I've been marking them off. And been storing them away. It's easy peasy. She's so cute. Here she is on the bunch one checklist. She is Princess P Unicorn. Best friend forever is Bernadette Beaver and she is a rare. Oh, we started off with a rare. That's got to be good. 
just like the song, one banana, two banana, three banana, four. <laughs> Many more bananas. All right, so let's do Ring Around the Rosie with the perforated edge on this one. Or can Mummy get it off? With the magic of editing, here it is, nice and separated from its cling film. <laughs> This one's super smelly. They have like a little palm tree on the back, by the way. Mm. So you'll see it on this one. It goes a different color. This one is really, really strong. It's retained its smell quite well. So we're gonna peel the banana. We're not going to um, peel the avocado and make guacamole. We are gonna peel the banana and pull out our blind bags. No screaming little critters, please. Bug strawberry critters. <laughs> Those things freak me out. Another checklist, of course. And then you also, now that we have a couple of them, I can show this. Keep the containers by clicking them together. And there is little loops at the top. You could hang up your bananas if you want. Have a nice... Mm, I wonder if these can be repurposed into car fresheners because the scent is very, very strong. And... Yeah, I reckon you could use these as car fresheners. They're really cute. Okay, going to the bag with a snip, snippity, snip, snip, snip. And then pull. And what have we got? What have we got? We have a yellow vine that is super duper cute onto the thing. I really love those little, um, I like things that help with storage and give ideas for storage to make because there's a lot of kids who don't have large bedrooms and um, space saving things are good. What have we got out of here? We have a, oh that's the bottom of it. It is, it, it is an apple with a creature going, oh no! It is another screaming critter who is stuck inside an apple. I don't know what that the thing is of that, whether they're screaming because they're about to be at lunch or what. <laughs> and we have a waving one. This one at least looks somewhat happy. It looks like a capsicum. A capsicum crab? I don't know. Those are weird. Sorry, bananas, but those are weird. However, this is cute. So who have I got? Ooh, it looks quite dark in there. It's actually shining through the blind bag. Who have I got on this one? Who are you? Hello? Oh my goodness, I don't have this one. This is a Pequin. Look at this one. One of Astra's friend's favorite animal is a Pequin. So I, whenever I see a Pequin, I, I say that's him. <laughs> we have a Pequin, but this one looks too girly to be a boy. So let's find out what her name is. Okay, we have Porca Pequin. Best friend forever is Lovey Monkey, and she is a common. But more so than that, we don't have her. So it's super cute. Okay, putting Porka on her stand. Her little yellow feet go well with her stand. And then we can clip her onto the bottom of Princess P. Princess Pie or Princess P? I think P.I. should be actually Pie rather than P. And there you go. That's an example of what you can do. So those are the standards from Bunch 1 and then you can find these special limited edition bananas and you'll know you have a, um, a limited edition because as I showed these shiny packets even state it and you have to see my other videos on what to look out for to spot the limited editions. Um, I'll put the links down in my description. So first off, let's take this off, Congratula just in case you don't get the wrapping, congratulations, you are the finder of a special banana. Mmm, mmm, this one, mmm, this one doesn't smell so much like banana, as it's got actually a kind of a chemical smell, so I don't know if that's from being in the bag, let's peel it though, peel the banana, take out the piece of cardboard that's holding that in there, get out the little bananas, Okay, who have we got first? We have the weird little critters, the cute critter, and where's the stand? And let's have a look if this is still bunch one or bunch two. I think this might be bunch two. Oh no! 
Oh, they put a checklist in with the limited editions. Actually, that is really cool. Yep, there's one of the other limited editions I've got. Um, that was one of my things when I first opened it. I couldn't find it anywhere on the checklist, and I was like, showing on video, I was like, oh, it's not here, am I crazy? Where is it? And then I accepted that the limited editions were not on the list. So they've put out a limited edition checklist. That is a really good update on their side. Let's get to it. All right, the stand first. Looks like it's gonna be an orange one. Yes, it is. There we go. And then on to the creepy critters. <laughs> I don't like them. I know, I know I'm going to keep on going on about that, but I am not a fan. I don't like the looks of things. Oh my god, tortured. We have a bug stuck on top of a slice of pizza. Someone likes their insect pizza. And we have an, oh, I think it goes up that way. An avocado with a bug inside. I don't know, man. I really don't know. <laughs> but an avocado bug. Moving on to what I really collect these for. I collect them for these cute little critters. Adorable. Alright. Okay. Okay, who have we got? Who have we got? Something new, something new. Yes. Oh, we have... Is it a raccoon of some sort? Let's have a look. This one is... Toco Cat. Coco Cat. Oh, it's number one in the limited edition series. Cool. So this is a little pussy cat. I thought it was a raccoon with those big pointed edges, but it is like a Persian cat, I'm guessing then. And these pinks. It looks so cute. I love, love, love this. And of course, it has its little sticker here. One thing I did notice is I didn't get um, shinies. Oh, hang on. Nope, they are stuck in there. So there are your little shiny stickers that you can use to decorate your creature with. Isn't that cute? And to make it even cuter, we can stick it on the... Oh, if I actually make the vine the right way. My goodness gracious me. I'm not going to sit her upside down on it. And we'll add to our little vine. Here we go. Got our penguin, got our pony, and got our... Ah, what's he get? Ow. Limited edition. Okay. How's that? That's so cute. You can see like a long line of these. Imagine from a child's roof just down to the floor. That is adorable. But wait, there is more. We still have one limited edition to open up. And let's get to it. I have some like strawberries and lemons and limes of this series to open up. I don't actually know what those are about. I've had them in storage for a while, so I'm going to have to make a video and get back to them. I've been so preoccupied. I've actually had so many um, uh, business related emails with um, YouTube that I'm and also trying to keep up with um, toys that friends send me and family give me, etc. that I am really behind but I'm always behind so let's open up our yellow banana I like the yellow on the banana and just so you know if you look at the back of these instead of where there's a palm tree they have the lettering L E and which of course stands for limited edition all right uh, I don't think I needed to um, do that but just in case someone was going huh why <laughs> you never know someone might be having a lazy lazy brain day we've got our critter we have our checklist, which I'm really happy they made a checklist for that. We have our little critters and we have our stand. And this one, mm, this one smells strong of banana. Try not to get rid of the limited edition cases. Um, these ones here, you'll have to get so many of them. You can give them on to like the local kindies and stuff. If you want to get creative and they can make all sorts of it. Let's get into which sort of stand we have. It would be nice if we get like four different colors. So far we have, oh yep, yeah, we have, we have a, uh, that's more, it's like almost verging on aqua color, but not quite. Looks, eh, yeah, I'd say aqua because I can't tell if it's more blue or more green. <laughs> okay, on to our tortured critters. Poor little things. 
We have our stickers and our two little critters, so our little deco pieces. Here we are. We have a another capsicum bug, an orange, and what is this? I don't. Oh, we have two capsicum bugs. Everyone likes capsicums. Ugh, one of my least favorite things to eat. <laughs> I don't mind them um, mixed into salads or with other things. Um, cooked, but I cannot eat a capsicum raw by itself. It vomit taste, as far as I'm concerned. All right. And who, ooh, this one's got stars on its head. Who have we got? Who have we got? I see stars shining out. All right. Come on. Wow, you're really packed in there, my dear. You got a big head. Whoop whoop. Oh, it's a little sloth. Oh, that's why it's packed in there. His sticker was a bit, bit mushed up. That's all right. I'll save that. Oh my goodness, who are you? Sloths are so popular right now. Um, limited edition number five, Starry Sloth. Best friend forever is Cheeky Monkey. Mm, mm, he smells good too. Look at the stars on his head. That's what I saw as I was trying to pull it out. I was like, oh, he's got little stars on the head. It's so cute. And it's adorable. I love it. I love it so much. Let's get him on the stand and add him to his little family from this opening. Okay. Uh, clip, 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 clip. Uh, get on there. <laughs> there we go. Here are the four we got today. I'm really happy that we got four different stands because it really makes the rainbow stand out. I can add these to my collection. They're all new, which makes me super excited. Blake picked out well getting these two. I knew the limited editions were going to be new because I'd never seen those bananas before, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love these, love these um, little collectibles. Let's do a flyby. Here we are once again and up close and personal with what we got today. Just again, I really love this collectible and I super love it because the price is not overly expensive. These are ones that kids can pick up for their pocket money and they're cute little crinsit. Oh, I, I, crinters. Um, creatures and critters. But um, I just got confused because poor princess, she's snoozing. She's like, I had enough. I've had enough. I've laid over there. That's okay. These, weird. Don't get it. Weird. Um, the stickers are cute. The kids can use those for their artwork and their little diaries. Love, love, love the addition of a limited edition checklist that did not come in the original ones I opened and would have saved a lot of confusion on my side and probably other people's. <laughs> so that's great that these have been done. I definitely want this one here in these sunset colors, Petals Pony. I love that one. That one I'm getting it. That's mine. Um, and yeah, some more to check off my checklist. Awesome. If you love bananas, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if I get doubles ups of these LEs, just like the last one, I'll give them away. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.